Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video I'm taking you guys through the Cayo Perico heist. We did a little bit different. I was doing this on a live stream and I let the live I let the actual chat pick my, you know, how I was going to go about doing this either just take the uh the tunnel, the drainage tunnel or go on foot. All right. I had multiple locations to pick up the secondary loot, the cocoa. Always go for the cocoa. And as you guys see right here, I got the long fin approach, uh, main dock, um, you know, the compound entry. You have to pick something. I'm not going to do the drainage tunnel. I'm actually going to get the security codes. So that's what this is all about. But there's a twist to it because there's multiple secondary source locations. If you guys, you know, watch me and how I do the Kyo, I always go for the max payout. I always go for the Coco as a secondary loot. Especially if I'm solo, right? Now, if, if you have some friends with you or whatever, you can mix in the gold and the cocoa or paintings. Or however, it can get everybody, uh, their bags filled up so you guys can get the elite. I always go for the elite. Always the max on the uh, secondary. So that's what we're doing. And again, we're going with the security codes. We're not going to use the, uh, the, the drainage tone or anything like that. So I spawn in at the main dock. And my two secondary locations are at the airport and back at the main dock. So I go ahead and take a hard left right here and I'm going to go over to the airport and then park the boat, go over here and get the cocoa. I'm going to start take you guys through how I do this. So if you're curious on this, because I know, you know, burning out the Cayo can get kind of, you know, it can get a little tedious. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how to mix it up, how to challenge yourself and still have a lot of fun and be profitable. This is also on hard mode, which really, to be quite honest, um, <laughs> it's really not that much more difficult, if at all. You just get an extra $50,000 for the Elite Challenge, totaling an extra $100,000 overall to your net profit, which is good. All right? Now, guys, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have notifications turned on so you guys don't miss out on any future videos or guides or live streams. And definitely, if you enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like at the end. Okay? Don't forget. So we're at the airport. And when you come in to scope out, the uh your heist always check the airport locations always right we had some cocoa right here in the bottom little uh cubby area <laughs> right i checked upstairs as well uh but there's nothing up there in regard to uh cocoa all right so we got that and we're off to the boat again i checked the upstairs location in the hangar i checked the secondary location during the scope out across the runway, there was nothing there in regard to Coco. There was some like cash and uh, and green over there, uh, but you know, again, I always if I'm rolling solo, I always go for the max payout, which is going to be the Coco right there. And again, have confidence in knowing that you can still make the elite. You have 15 minutes to get the elite challenge done. All right, and I've made enough of these guides. Nobody should be struggling on time. And if you are, again, just follow exactly what I do. All right, my boat is right here. Sometimes the boat will kind of like float off. Just kind of get it in the shallow area, but don't don't beach the boat to where you can't get it off of the beach, right? Keep it in the water. Just kind of get a little close to it. Just park it like you would a car, all right? Some of you, <laughs> parking cars is crazy. Just, uh, you know, make sure, even if it does kind of float out of the water, you can still go out there and swim and get it. It's no big deal, all right? Now I'm heading back to the main dock. Uh... <laughs> So this is kind of like a full send right here. Be careful, don't do this, right? I kind of just threw it up on the rocks right here. I didn't expect it to go this far in. Uh, be careful, don't don't get too crazy with that. Just kind of slow it down and get out the boat normally. And uh, my secondary cocoa location was in this little shack right here. I went ahead and just took out that camera and I took out the guard up top, which you're gonna have to take out that guard uh, anyways, especially if you're gonna be doing the security code route or method, which is what I'm taking you guys on. There's a guard right there. I double checked to make sure it's the right guard. I was pretty sure it was, but I wanted to make sure that I had the guy it's himself. He, just make sure you're shooting the guy that has the gun in his hand. Don't worry about the the locals, right? The, NP, the other NPCs, they're not going to rat you out. They'll just freak out. All right, here's my secondary, uh, my second secondary target for the Coco. And remember, the Coco fills up your bag one pile or one stack. Uh, will fill up your bag 50%. So you need two stacks or two piles of cocoa to fill your bag up 100%, which is one of the prerequisites for your elite challenge. All right. So we we'll go ahead and get this bad boy filled up. And again, don't worry about your time. You know, most people, when I take these routes, are like, Ty, there's no way you made it. There's no way you made the elite. Right. But they see it's it's all good. 
All right, so I put the gun away to you know run a little bit quicker. If you feel comfortable in first person, do that. I just like to go third person. It's no big deal. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. Don't worry about the time. And there's a guard off to your left. You can skip him. And there's a double guard right here. Get your pistol out. Get your pistol out. Just run up to him right in the middle and just spam circle. All right, if you're on PlayStation or what is it, X on Xbox, just spam the melee, not the trigger melee, not the melee that you shoot with the melee that you actually swing the weapon with, which is on the the, the the buttons, not the bumpers, okay? There's a tower guard up here. Just take him down. You don't really have to worry about the camera. Once I take out the tower guard, I just run left. It, there may be a jeep that rolls by right here. If it is, just kind of get off to the back. Use the topography to hide yourself, and then just either let it go by or just shoot the driver out, right? You can either free aim him or just auto lock however, whatever aiming style you guys have. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, now you just again, just gotta run up the side right here, and then you come uh, up onto the road where the guardrail is in the back side. This way, you avoid the camera if it does shift around a little bit, which it does, but not too bad. You should be fine. You could actually probably just cut, you know, through uh, the grass up onto the road, but just to play it safe, you're good. Then you come up to these little like uh, crates right here, and what you want to do is you want to wait till the camera is not looking at the guard. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of pick out the two vision cones. Take the guard out first and then drop the camera. Okay. If you take the camera first, sometimes the guard will hear that. And if you shoot the guard where the camera's looking at him, you don't shoot the camera in time, it'll pick up the dead body. You got two guards right here. Use your pistol, just run up to them, and then just spam uh, your melee button on the buttons, not the bumper, not the trigger button, right? Not the button that you shoot with, the button that you like throw, you know, a, a punch with or whatever that you swing with. And then the guards on the outside of the gate are going to have a security code. If you decide to go to the uh, the side entrance, which, which is what I like to use, uh, you, either entrance is fine. One of the guards that's out here guarding it will have the security code. Okay. So I'm just waiting for him to get out of the cone of vision of the other guard. And then this gets you a headshot. Now, if you mess up, which is what I, I did right here, don't freak out. Just make sure you just light them up. Right, just light him up, and, and that way he can't sound the alarm, and he'll, you know you kill him, and he's done. But just you know, probably maybe I should have probably waited until he's a little bit closer, so I got that either the auto lock or a much better headshot. As you see, he dropped the security code right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that guard before I get into his cone of vision. I have the security code now. Hey, uh, bonus. Let me know in the comments down below what is the security code right now. Let me know in the comments what is the code. All right, let's see if you guys can get it. I just played it right there. You just saw it. Comment down below what the security code was. It's pretty funny. Anyways, though, um, so he fiddles with the lock, or your character fiddles around with the code, the code box or whatever, and now you're in. Okay? This is pretty similar to the route that, it's almost like identical to the route that I take when uh, you do the uh, drainage tunnel. All right? Just come right through here. Just bypass all these guards right here. Just take the exact route that I'm taking. Okay? Just run up. You can either jump that little fence right there or whatever, that little concrete guardrail. This guy right here, just make sure you just, you know, shoot him in the face and get him down. He's got the keys. 99% of the times, the guards that are in have the red cones. Those will be the guards that have the gate keys for you, right? Just, just melee that guy at the back or you can just shoot him in the head, whatever. And then don't get too... Um, don't get too uh, cavalier with this guard coming down the steps. Several times I've rushed this scene or this this part right here, and I've bumped into the guard or whatever. Just let, let him come to you, and then you can melee him and take him out. All right, now you're up in El Rubio's office. And don't even worry about that key card right there. You don't need it. Make sure you take the uh, the wall safe loot. It can be pretty substantial. Right here it was uh, about 80000 so that's pretty nice. I'm going to dip on out of here. Go back down to this banister right here and then just jump off. Uh, you can go either where the flowers are or directly to the left. Either way is fine. Jump off right here. And then go straight through with the fountain right there. And then right here is where we're going to enter for the primary targets. We've already got the gate keys, which is what we picked off of the uh, guard that had the, uh, the red cone of vision. And we go to this gate. This gate is better for the fingerprint hacks. It has less hacks you have to go through while it's on hard mode. It's got two instead of like four. So, And again, you guys know how to do this. Just start at the very top with the top part of the fingerprint. 
Then you go down one, uh, over two, down two, over three, until you just match up. It's real simple, real easy. Start at the top, then down one over two, down two over three, down three over four to the right. Real simple. Let me comment down below. Do you guys want me to make another updated um, fingerprint like hack? I, I know most of you have already got it, but I still get a lot of people saying they have trouble with this. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to make another video on that. It's real simple, real easy. So for this one, I did not have uh, one of the targets behind the glass, which is actually better. I like the bear bonds because the setup mission is way easier. The plasma cutters can be a pain in the butt getting that, that, uh, that, that setup mission done. So got the code 3995.38. Say it with me, 3995.38. 3995.38. 39.95.38. 39.95.38. Right? Say so don't forget. I was live streaming, so the chat was helping me out. They posted it in the uh, comments, but no big deal. Get this put in, 38, opens up the safe, and we got the bear bonds. Good money, man, real good money. We're at 1.6 million. Get stuck up on that brick pillar right there, and then we're out. Just go out the same way you came in. Now, be careful right here. Pay attention. See, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is my first time doing a Kayo heist in, in like two weeks. Pay attention to the uh, juggernaut right there. I almost got seen, you know, the, in the cone of vision, right? Just be careful. There's other guard back there too. So just, just kind of pay attention when you get out. Take out this guard right here, and then you're good to go. Just run up to the little green button or whatever, and then go through the dumb animation of your character uh, not noticing, even though he's looking in that direction, not noticing a giant green button sticking off the wall to exit the door. Gives it a futile kick. <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. And uh, you guys may remember I was uh, doing this with randoms. You know, I was trying to find a pro at the Kayo to get me through. This, if you're solo, just run with this guy. Take him out. If you got friends with you, if you go off to the right, there's a, another couple of guards. But there's two more bikes and like a Jeep over there, right? But if you're solo, just, just whack that guard right there. Take his bike. Take the exact ride I took with the dirt bike right here going through, coming off the island. Go to the right side of that palm tree. We and uh, <laughs> we and then dip off into the uh, the water. Now listen, I've heard people talking about if they just like tap a mine or run into the mine, you know, it like goes to the cutscene. It, it it never worked for me. Maybe it was the wrong mine I tapped, but I've tapped a couple of them. And so just just swim on out, okay? Don't try to do anything fancy. You'll have plenty of time. If you look at the radar, you want to swim out to where the water gets like dark, right? The there's like little levels. There's sh different shades of darkness for the depth of the water. And once you're out here, uh, everything kind of like disappears for a split second and you know you're good. Equip a rebreather. You should have rebreathers on. Just hit the left arrow key or whatever and you got that on and then that's it. Bam. Now, the real question is, did we make it with the Elite Challenge? Everything good to go. And I always ask, hey, chat, did you guys you guys think I made it? There's always people like, no, nah, it took too much time, too much time. But, you know, if you want to mix it up and you, know, you still want to keep it kind of, you know, efficient, right? If you're tired of taking the drainage tunnel, if you just want to, you know, have a new challenge, explore the different methods of the heist, do the security codes. It's real simple, real easy. Actual take, 1,526,780. 100% cut. Elite challenge, under 12 minutes, right? Under 12 minutes. Easy. That was my first heist back in like two weeks. No hacks failed. Full loot bags with the Coco. Multiple source locations. Got the Elite Challenge. Toss on an extra $100,000. $1,626,780. All right. Easy money. I got this heist done in about, from start to finish in like, what, 30, 40 minutes? You guys are watching. Comment if you guys are watching during the stream. I mean, I, I got through the setup mission so quick. It was like, it was like 20 or 30 minutes. It was like nothing. It was crazy. All right, there you see the stats right there. Got it taken care of, 1138. And again, you know, there's a lot. Of, I, I did a lot of stuff in this. We went to two totally different source locations, approached the uh, the compound on foot, knocked it out, got good money, made the elite. It was a lot of fun, a lot of cool, you know, a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of cool methods you could use with the Kayo. So definitely enjoy it. You guys switch it up a little bit, challenge yourself, and have some fun with it, man. Thank you all so much for coming out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game Smash. I mean, it's most Smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.